Hey sports fans, welcome to this week's edition of Tahoe Sports Line. We're joined again this week with Coach McLaughlin, State Championship Coach McLaughlin for volleyball. How's the women's uh, volleyball season? Well, you know what they did to me? They ice bucketed me last week. That's right. I got the ice bucket challenge done, not for the reasons you think because I was challenged, because a friend of mine that grew up up here, former baseball standout Todd Field, unfortunately passed away from ALS. He was an excellent baseball player and also the Babe Ruth Field here in South Lake Tahoe is named after him. Yeah, it's not Todd Fields, folks. It's Todd Field. All right, let's give away a prize. Hey, we got a great prize this week. We got a $25 gift certificate to McDuff's uh, Public House. All you have to do is name the former NFL star that, as a pitcher, holds a Nevada State High School baseball record for the most batters ever struck out in a single game. If you have that or you have access to Google, I bet you got a good shot of winning 25 bucks over to McDuff's. Are you saying that's where I found it? Oh, that's probably where you found it, Coach. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we're going to talk a little football. But first, actually, we're going to give you our thoughts on a couple of teams, the home folks, the 49ers. All these talking heads saying the 49ers are struggling on offense because their first team's not scoring. They're going to struggle this year. Hogwash. Don't believe it for a second. You heard it here first. The 49ers are going to win the NFC West. They're going to win the NFC, and they're going to play in the Super Bowl. And the week before the Super Bowl, I'm going to announce my predictions of who's going to win. I'm going to jump on that bandwagon with you as well, Coach. I like the 49ers in the NFC West. Uh, but for the AFC West, I like the Raiders. A uh, lot of young talent coming into that team. The coaching has been a little bit more solid than it has been in the past. Not as much turnover. And they have this running back, Maurice Jones, Drew. Uh, he's pretty good. So... We'll see. Denver's still going to win the division, but I think the Raiders are maybe going to potentially flirt with a playoff spot. Uh, might be a tough stretch, but they'll be at least 500 this year. I love Maurice Jones Drew. Local boy comes home from Dedisal High School in Concord. Absolutely. All right, let's talk a little tennis. The tennis opens being played, U.S. Open in Flushing Meadows. On the women's side, I've got a surprise who I think is going to win. Eugenie Bouchard. She's going to win her first major. She's made the semifinals in every major this year, but this is when she becomes the most famous Canadian ten tennis player in history as she starts her championship run with this year's U.S. Open. That's a good choice, Coach. Uh, two players that come to my mind, and I can't remember her name, but the 15-year-old who won her, her event. <laughs> Pretty impressive. I mean, watching her press release, God, it was infectious. Just, I mean, the raw enthusiasm. She's not going to accept the money. She wants to go to college. But you know who else is playing well? Serena Williams. Uh, that's a tough one, and she's got the experience to get the job done. Yeah, that's a tough one to ever bet against her, particularly in the hard court. But... I'm, I'm still going with the Canadian girl. We'll see. All right. But on the men's side, you know, Rafael Nadal is out. And that usually means it's between Roger Federer and uh, Djokovic, the Joker, no, Novak Djokovic. A contraire. They neither one of them are going to win. This year's winner is going to be Stanislas Warinsky. He is the Australian Open winner. He's been inconsistent. He's no longer inconsistent. He's turned his game around. This guy has all the tools to win. I expect him to win the U.S. Open. Two majors this year. Coach, have you looked at the you know World Tennis Professional Association rankings? Who's number one? Who's the number one rated player? Uh, Jokovic. Yeah, Jokovic. So, uh, and, and this <laughs> other guy, uh, uh, I can't even pronounce his name. Not a chance. Well, uh, look for experience to win on this one. All I can say is after the tennis, Warinka will be a name you will remember. <laughs> I hope you are right, Coach. Hey, well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of Tahoe Sportsline. Make sure you log on to our Facebook page or our website. Great.